welcome back to my channel. Today, we are starting a project that is well overdue. Um, if you want to see what William's room properly looks like, you can look at this video, but his room now has, well, he has outgrown his room and it's just a mess. I mean, I haven't tidied it all week because I knew what was coming. If you're new to my channel, then hello, welcome. I'm a mum of three, and this channel is all about inspiring mums to take back control of their lives. I share my decluttering journey, I share my journey through motherhood, and anything that I find useful, any tips and tricks to help you in your journey through motherhood too. At the moment, his bedroom, I mean, it's really small. It's a really small box room. Um, he's got his cot bed, which we've already started um, dismantling. Um, and we want to put in a bigger bed. But on this side of the room is where the doorway is. And there just isn't a wide enough space. So we're going to put his bed on this side. Problem being, as this is where the overstair thing is. So we're going to, we bought a bed but we're going to cut off two of the legs um, and it's going to be a high or a mid sleeper it's going to be a mid sleeper but it's going to be high enough that he has a little den underneath to make use of the floor space under um, and then his chest of drawers is going to go where his bed used to be um, and I thought I would share with you turning a little boy's room into the room of his dreams which you'll have to wait and see um, when it is the tiniest room in the universe. So the first job is literally we're going to clear this space. We're going to clear it all and I will show you the empty space once we're done. So the room is empty. We've filled in some holes already and I mean they are, that's it really, there's nothing, nothing to show of interest. But, um, he just wants the walls white. So the walls are going to be white and then the bed will go in this space here. So, as you can see, it looks no different, but I have painted his chest of drawers. I used oh, the French Chic Lazy Range and I think that, what colour is it? Yep, yeah, Scotch Mist. Um, and it's, well, it looked a bit greenier than it actually has come out, but I'm happy with it. Um, it's just a neutral thing. And then, yeah, everything else is just white. So no real difference, but it has, it has had a paint um, and all the glossing and everything as well. So your room is all done. Are you excited? Yeah. Shall we have a look inside? Shall we? <gasps> Do you want to open the door? <gasps> wow, have you got a new bed? You want to climb in? Whoa! Is it a big boy bed? What do you think? You like it? <gasps> <laughs> Oh, dinosaur things. What about under the bed? Look, have you seen? <gasps> come down, come down. What's under? Whoa. Oh, things. You got your own little dad. Bye. Oh. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> what else can you spot places? Uh, what else is there? What else is new? Oh, leaves. And can you see the leaves up on the walls? And what's that? What's, is there a hole in the wall? <laughs> Whoa. What do you think? <laughs> do you love it? Is it what you wanted? 
dinosaurs and jungly. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's a win. Um, I'm so pleased, honestly, I'm so thrilled with it. It's not completely flip finished, but we couldn't not let him see it for so long. Um, so if I just show you around, um, and then I'll explain the bits that are left over. So the biggest difference is the fact that his bed, his little cot bed was along here before, and now, We've got this bed, which was from Noah and Nanny. I'll link it down below. Um, and it was a proper length bed. But what we did is we trimmed, you know, we cut these bits off because our staircase goes up here. Um, so we trimmed those bits off so it fitted over nicely. It's got a ladder. It's a shorty bed. So it's a, a full length sing single bed came to about there. We were like half a centimetre off being able to fit a proper bed in. Um, but it's fine. This this will last him till he's 12 apparently. These are, their Ikea leaves, but I got them off eBay, two for five pounds. Um, and so we've just, you know, fitted them to the wall. So he's got a canopy over his bed. Bedding is from Asda. It's just got little dinosaurs on it and it's double-sided so you can have it the other way if you want. And it's just got little cactuses and plants on it, but matching pillow, exactly the same. This also, was from Asda. Um, these curtains, there's a whole set came with the bed, but actually I'm gonna make my own. So I've put these up for now, but I want to make green ones or I might do gray or something. Um, but for now they'll do. And then all around the room are these little dinosaur stickers, which were easy, just really easy to stick on. They're from Etsy um, and I'll link them for you as well. And then to match the duvet set, these were also from Asda, just some little toy storage boxes. Um, something that isn't finished yet is this, this was the girls originally and it's been in his room, but I want to, I'll keep the green, but the pink I'm going to paint to match, um, which I'll show you in a second, his um, chest of drawers so that'll match. So it'll be green and the gray. And also if I go around the other side, I'm just gonna paint over this and paint it white and I might stick some dinosaurs on it as well little pterodon there. So this is his chest of drawers, which was just a, a wooden, a pine, an orangey pine colour, and I used the French chic paint. And so that's what I'm gonna paint the boxes of his toy box with. So I'm really pleased with that. It's come up really nice. The leaves, and you can see another little dinosaur there. The leaves here came as part of this set. So if I, I don't think you saw it in the beginning, but as you come in, he wanted a jungle theme. So I got those off of Amazon. Again, I'll link those. Um, and they just, they came just as individual strands, 12 strands. And I had no idea how to um, attach them, but I used one of the strands to put along the top and then I glue gunned the other strands. But the way that I attached to the wall, are using command strip hooks. So you can see there's just a little hook and it just hooks over like that. And so that's what I attached the main loop to and then glue gunned all the others. And then where I've, you know, trailed them round is also using the command strip. So I'll link them as well. And they go all up and around. And then this also from Etsy, it's just a giant sticker but it, it makes it look like there's a hole in the wall through to dinosaur land. And I'm super, super pleased with that. It was a right bugger to put on the wall. Um, so it, it's a two man job. I did it on my own. It was a two man job, but it worked and it's fine. Um, the only other thing that I have left to do is I need to um, paint these in the same gray as I did his chest of drawers. These are just from Ikea and I'm just gonna put them, so there's his bookcase. I'm gonna put, I've got uh, four of these that I'm gonna put up just to extend the bookcase up so he can have some of his favorite books um, up there. So they just, you know, they just come um, plain and you can paint them. So I'm just gonna have them up the wall in that space so he's got a bit more room for some books. And then just the other bits is like his toy box is still star themed from his old room, his rug is star themed. So little bits like that, but I've got no, there's no rush. I'm not like rushing into these things. So I'll just, you know, as and when I find the perfect rug and I find a nice toy box that's either gray or, 
green or whatever to match the room then I will buy that but at the moment it's fine um oh and the other thing was the blind was from Argos and that's just a blackout in a dove gray um so I'll link that I'll link everything so if there's anything that you like the look of I'll link everything um but oh, I'm just so thrilled like for the longest time he's just been shoved in the box for him we never we we know we painted it for when he was born and he had star theme and everything but it was still just it wasn't a proper room I don't know it just now like you walk in I mean it's so much bigger for a start like you walk in and before like the bed was right there and there were just toys here and everything I don't know it just seemed so cramped and now you walk in and it just looks so welcoming and inviting and you know it's just a proper little room and he's got his little bed space underneath and he's just happy as Larry so um yeah I'm super super pleased with it I hope you've been enjoyed watching the little transformation there obviously I didn't show right from the beginning because we'd already started dismantling things but we have videos that you can have seen over time that his room has featured you can see what it looked like in the beginning with the with the bed and everything but now it is a proper little boy's room a little jungle loving dinosaur loving little boy's room and he just well he's gonna have such a sweet little night's sleep I just hope that he's fine um he's not one for getting up in the night but if he does, I'm going to have to say to him just to call me. Don't try climbing down the ladder in the night. But he's not really one for waking up in the night anyway. That's just the girls. <sighs> I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. Now the girls' room is next. And they want a book theme room. So you keep an eye out for that. And um, wish me luck in trying to plan that out. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll be back next week with another upload. Bye.